for uh, AI generated content, um, Creative Commons views is that there could be copyright protection over that content, provided there's sufficient human creative input. So if it's fully automated, and we haven't really seen that yet, but if it's, you know, there's very kind of insignificant uh, human input, and it's the machine that creates on its own, there should not be any protection. But if we start looking at how artists are actually using AI, they're using it as a tool. And it's a tool to assist them, to support them, to you know enhance their own creativity. It's not, uh, yeah, we shouldn't see it as something that will replicate or undermine or replace them. So We've seen examples, um, I've heard from the, the gaming industry, how it can really enhance the player's experience, um, you know, with, uh, with AI being used to kind of generate new experiences as, as gamers uh, progress through their games in an adaptive way. So um, we can see that there is a lot of potential to enhance um, the creative experience, both for artists and for people who will be engaging and enjoying the creations. Um, but I guess, yeah, we, we will need to draw a line um, between what's what's going to be uh, considered protectable and what uh, will be in the public domain. Um, so, yeah, we, we just need to, um, I guess, look back to existing copyright protectability criteria and determine whether something is original. That's the threshold in copyright. Um, as I said, using AI as a tool that supports human creativity, because that is the, the underlying objective of copyright. Um, it's, it's, it's really its core purpose is to incentivize human creativity. So that's why we think that like originality, human authorship, that really has to remain essential to granting copyright over, um, over content. Um, and like I said, anything that's automa autom autonomously, sorry, generated uh, should not, in and that does not involve uh, significant human creativity is just not in copyright scope.